everybody, welcome back to the War No Waiting Room, playing in the Savannah, Operation Savannah Tournament. Game 3 of the best of 3 Grand Finals. Against Jackie, at least uh, one player always has to play South Africa, the other player is not allowed to do so. Now, Punch Bowl, possibly the best one for, for South Africa, but he decided to play Armored, which I don't know why, but, you know, he, you know, in my eyes, now you do you. I would still say that he's at a disadvantage, because I know he's playing South Africa. Uh, Armored makes life even worse for him, but maybe he just wants to have fun, so he doesn't care. In any case, still, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I would have preferred the other side, but so be it. I'm gonna try to make something happen with the FJB on the left. Um, I think I'm gonna go relatively even on all sides, at least I'm trying to, or I will try to. Um, gonna push Boris, of course, with what? I'm also gonna try to just, with some forces, just drive down here. Probably like two BVPs. See how that how, it's, how that goes. Because I will be busy pushing from this side of the bars, so he can't really focus on the stuff I'm driving down there. At least in theory. Our log games are gonna pr play a big part here, so we have to be careful. So we're gonna have to use smoke to just block the land of side of them. I'm gonna get two of these. I wanna get them in the town, but I'm not gonna drive them up first because yeah. What should and these for mid shields? What a right. You might also try to push stuff there, but I wouldn't expect so. Factoria. Watchson. Also get like a East Vidyach. Mid. Factoria. Like a Shanshi squad. Um, I'm gonna get an early book. I'm gonna get two as ones maybe. Order. Two BVPs that I'm gonna, you know, like I said, drop down there. I need 10 points. I want a Rick and Hilo for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Because 25. I also would like to get a PvP together with those two. I guess I have FGB. I don't need a, 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 a Shilo with those two. I guess I don't need those. I guess I'm gonna save on the meat shield. Okay. I also say fuck book and just get an ASF early, but I prefer to have a book. Especially against the uh, Buccaneer. It's gonna just stun that very, very early, much earlier. Right? Ah, uh, wait. Oh, right, yeah. I nearly forgot the value. <laughs> Right. He might potentially, I guess, he might try to like do some weird spawn push or something. We have to see. You just drive down there. Motor, there's my my motor. That had hit me, I'd be a bit mad. I'd be real. I'm gonna waste another shot in case I don't need it. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Everything grabbed down there. We might load you back in. No, it's it's too far away, it's too far away. You know what, at least it's gonna end it early, one way or another. I would really like to buy a spare CV ASAP though, I don't think I can wait though for the this thing. MP2. Alright. Actually I think I'll need you to stay at longer range. Further away.
We capped. Ooh, that's interesting. It's very spicy. Come on, kill this. I have to unload you before you get killed. Yep. Kill this. Okay, got it killed. It's crucial. I forgot about you completely. <laughs> you know what? He made it fast. He made it fast. Oh, he, yeah. <laughs> Thank God I bought that, um, what's it called, the Alouette. Okay, it uh, allowed me to spot it a bit earlier. That's why Rikin Helos, like, even if it's like something that, other than you know, just spotting in the opener, can't really do much. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was actually crucial. It was quite crucial. Probably should have given me, given it away already, but. <laughs> uh, what was actually BBP that ended up killing the That was fast. I guess that being a short video doesn't really tell you if I survive or or if I survive the spawn push or not. <laughs> uh. To to at least make it a bit longer. Let's touch, just take a quick look. I'm I'm curious about the um What's it called? Yeah, how he did this opener. Obviously deleted the farm. All you found in the base. Oh, it makes sense. Especially given how much uh, rocket pots and 80 gems that hide wasted. Probably couldn't even kill it. I had to like wait there. He I think you forgot about this. Also, I won the tournament. Woohoo! Well, let's get into the into voice with him. Problema. Problema. Yeah, the problem is playing South Africa. Yeah, I mean, I, I I said to him, right? Whoever wins the coin flip wins the best of three. But, but, but I I feel like this is South Africa illustrated perfectly. Either you catch the opening rush and you kill it. Or, or you lose. I mean, yeah, that's why it's like, it's good when ranked, right? If your opponent doesn't know if you're playing it. But if you know your opponent is playing South Africa. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really it was bad, a little too easy it, for you to bring back. It's the probably the experience. easiest way to win in ranked, like when people aren't expecting it. No, no, the easiest way is Hellrush. Mm, Hellrush isn't 100% like at all. But it's I mean, even easier to if I if I play against someone I know who I know, or they never heal rush on a on a map that isn't nuclear winter or maybe highway, it's very difficult to win a, to to survive a heal rush if the heal rush is done well. Only if you play against someone you don't know or low rank or something, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna save a couple of points by a bit more aid, then sure you have a decent chance. But if you open, let's say, quote unquote normal, and you don't expect it at all, then it's really, really difficult to win against Eel Rush. Yes, I haven't got that much experience and I play scan the enemies, so Eel Rushes are sort of in my automatic die or does it survive? Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, let's take a look at this opener. I was just quickly in voice because Jackie was also streaming this game. A uh, bunch of other tells, of course. He doesn't get K cars, he doesn't get SASF 90, and he doesn't get an infantry CV. <laughs> I mean, I guess he, I guess he wanted to hive at Royal Guard 105s, but not having an infantry CV probably screwed him because if he had put an infantry CV here, 
I would have actually kind of had a difficult time killing it because I don't think. Like, sure, BVPs are ridiculously good. Imagine if someone are really, really good unless they're in CQC. But at the same time. Still against like infantry in buildings. You need, they need to be there for a couple of seconds, right? Hold on. Okay, can I just say that this is the Ratel CV and this is the line of sight with the BVP killing it. That is so unfortunate. I need, I need... Ooh, you're gonna be in the thumbnail. Say hello YouTube. And screenshot taken. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. Yes, I'm pretty sure the other Rattels didn't have line of sight. They could have also like tried to put it in a bush here at least. It also would have made it harder, although I don't know. Yeah, no, the BMP ones most definitely didn't have the range there. t 72 s one was too far away. He probably still would have lost, honestly, because he didn't kill this CV. Didn't really have, didn't look like he was killing this. Probably could have left the weapons on. They are shock squads after all, CV the combat. Uh, but still, and then there's the hind here. I see survive for base defense, and this is base defense. Uh, honestly, if instead of the defenses here, he invested into another plane or two, would have could have improved his chances a lot. Like having Euro actually survived, so unloading didn't need to happen, I guess. But you know, just in case, uh, Roy got one of five shooting at max range against zero armor. 17 FP, right? And deals 34 damage, 5 HP, so 29 damage to the infantry inside, right? <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you that you know, infantry is not going to survive, no matter what infantry. So yeah. In any case, that's the finals. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see, today... I'm just gonna check something real quick. It's still gonna be, yeah, it's still gonna be a couple of weeks until you can expect War No Gameplays. Assuming, of course, Eugen does release it on the 20th without issue. You never know. In case, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.